So we're here to, well, we're, we're trying to find Brian Westhouse under the guidance of Crow. Oh, hey! Everything using only the finest organic ingredients, L1 letters, rat tails, done! I don't believe in judging people by their appearance, but that guy looks a bit evil-ish. He, he does look a bit evil. It's really warm and cozy. This must be great for the people working here in such cold weather. Eh, fair. Uh, people here in Mercuria used to respect us, Nama. The times have certainly changed. Jeez, I can't even hear you over over Roper Clax. All right. Oh. Oh, he's so cute and cuddly, like a koala bear. Um, that was probably a really horrible thing to say about a person. All right. As long as as long as you're aware. All right, so we need to go to the S Southgate Market. Uh, this is not that. I'm really glad Cl Crow decided to come with us. Potions, herbs, curiously shaped cookies. Okay, so we'll go here. Pretty sure this isn't the way I came. If you're whatever. Good afternoon, young lady. Crow here tells me you're a friend of April Ryan. Something like that. I know her, yeah. I'm Zoe Castillo. Brian Westhouse. You and uh, April had a falling out? Of sorts. Look, I'm sorry, but Crow told me you might be able to help. I might? What is it you need my help with? To get home, I guess. To Stark. I figured as much. I'm afraid I can't help you with that, Miss Castillo, but I know someone who might. Who? Her name is the White Dragon. Oh, not this and again. From what I understand, Crow, you know where to find her. I do. I can be of assistance. Yes. <laughs> Dragon. Like in big flying fire breathing lizard. More like skinny, pretty, with legs to kill for. I don't think she breathes fire, although she can get pretty fired up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Sheesh. So where is she, uh, this, um, this dragon person? In a library. It's where all the hot chicks go, apparently. All right. She's in a place that. called the Dark People's City. If you know how to find it, it moves around with the ocean's currents. But Crow's just been there, haven't you, Crow? Sure have. I spent several months there, learning the ancient art of sitting on my butt. Feathers. And you know how to get back? Sort of. Ish. I know the general direction. I remember the winds. They smelled like cinnamon and rose tea, wrapped in a fragrant bouquet of fresh bull mule excrement. But I can't point it out on a map, because maps just look like a confused monkey scribblings to me. And I won't be able to lead a boat there. The waves make me all sick and disoriented. And I can't fly. We won't have to take a boat. We'll fly. It just that I can't uh -huh. do that. I'll just wait here while the two of you grow some wings, shall I? Where we're going, Crow, we won't be needing wings. Uh, also, West House is coming with us. I mean, all right. I'm telling you, anything that flies without wings can't be trusted. It's against nature, and all that's holy. But hey, no feathers off my bones. If it comes crashing down, I'm not the one who'll be needing wings. Your friend, he'll just lend it to us. <laughs> he owes me a favor. Besides, in PS, that would be the Northlands Parcel Service has just upgraded their airborne fleet. This baby was one of the first they leased from the Azadi seven years back, and even then, she was getting on. Ah. Two-day shipping the is getting way more popular. The new ones are faster, bigger, popular. slicker, but she'll do just fine for our purposes. They have to upgrade the So you're coming with us? Coming with you? 
Wouldn't miss it for the world, Miss Castillo. This is one adventure I'm definitely looking forward to. Besides, you'll need me to fly her for you. She takes some getting used to. I don't know. I still don't trust a bird without wings. I'm keeping my eyes on you, sister. One wrong move, and bam! You'll feel the wrath of my beak. I like how Crow does animate like a bird. It's, uh... It's good. It's good animation. In the oh. name of the goddess and the six, you will lay down your arms and submit to our swords. Jesus what? Christ. Stay there. Do not make a move. Search I mean, the premises. Let no one leave. Uh, goddess? What in the name Jesus of the six is religion. going on? Spare us the theatrics, publican. We know that you shelter rebels. Rebels? Of course not. This is a peaceful and law-abiding establishment. If that is the <laughs> case, you will receive an official apology and recompense from the office of the emissary. Subtitles had to get cut off. But I'm afraid off. we cannot take your word for it. The cellar is clear. There's no one else in here, Apostle. I'll take the Apostle. second floor myself. Ah. All right. It seems you've found us a rebel nest, Apostle. It seems by the complete absence of any evidence of that. Let's make these terrorists pay for their crimes against the goddess, Apostle. Is there anything you want to tell us? You're trespassing. Ha! Get him, Ben Rime. All right. Uh... The traitorous innkeeper of this den of dissenters. Oh. Uh. It seems like every time I start playing, there's a combat sequence. <laughs> Though this appears to be going all right. It helps when he just stands there. Oh, get it. Okay. Sorry I murdered you, I guess. Do- what? Isn't that enough, uh, evidence of dissenters? People keep coming down the stairs and just trying to kill me. It's- it's hella rude. How many of them can I defeat? Is that, is that actually it? Because I'm not bad enough at this for this to be over. Uh, Alright, okay. Up the stairs. Hmm. Nothing here. It's a sword, but that's uh, basically normal. Shoes, that's pretty suspicious. Well, these doors are locked, so I guess I can't check those. Better hope any dissenters put their evidence on the open. Move, witch. Oh, good, what they did. What is your name? I'll give you one last chance to save your neck, witch. You will help me find someone, or you will die. And not just you. We will send the proprietor of this tavern to Sadir to stand trial for treason. As for your friends who've just left harbor, their ship will be boarded and the supplies confiscated. Do you know how the Azadi punish smugglers? Please. Their feet and hands are bound. They are weighed down with metal. And then they are dropped into the ocean. What the Please, hell? let them be. They carry only medicine and food. I have no quarrel with you or your compatriots. I seek only one person. The one my people call the Scorpion. I just threaten people the I don't have any problem scorpion? with. What do you know of him? If I... If I tell you about this scorpion, will you let us go, Benrime? Me, the shipment? No. <laughs> but if you lead me to the scorpion, then yes. I will let you and your friends go. You'll have your food and medicine. Leave the boat be, Azadi. Please. There are no weapons aboard. It poses no harm to your people. It's in your hands now. Very well. I will take you to... to the scorpion. But only if you give me your word that you will harm no one else. You have my word. <laughs> May the stars forgive me for what I am about to do. So he like he sees this woman and immediately knows that she's a terrorist. Some fantasy racism. Oh. It's pretty. Nice skybox. Alright, we've got an airship. The real Final Fantasy begins now. Heck, maybe the real King's Quest. This is reminding me a lot of King's Quest 6. Oh, 
know, right? We just got this tiny little like walnut attached to the side of the ship. Just fine. This ship's a real beauty. She basically flies herself. She just needs a tiny nudge now and again, but other than that. So, Mr. Westhouse. Call me Brian, please. Brian, when did you come to Arcadia? Oh, that was a long, long time ago. Too long. I traveled across the divide in 33. 1933, that is. Wait, what? What? And you're how old exactly? Well, I may be getting on, but I'm not that old. No, I got unstuck from time, and I was caught between worlds for a while. Oh, jeez. Not a pleasant experience by any measure of things, but I got out, and I made a life for myself in Mercuria. I'm never going back to start, and I'm fine with that. I've made peace with my past. Arcadia is my home now. Jeez. He doesn't even seem to have any friends. Mm. Where in stock did you come from? This seems... Boston, USA. Insensitive. Back when there was a USA. Hell, <laughs> back when there was a Boston. USA is gone? They're still there, both of them. Oh, okay. How did you end up here? Are you a shifter? Most certainly not. I mean, if I was, I would probably have gone back at some point. No, I made my way through the Divide by more unconventional means. I'm not that old, mind you. Can you just Something do that? Something happened that got me unstuck from time. It wasn't the best idea I ever had, but still, here I am in good health, and with all my limbs intact, I, I shouldn't complain. Have you seen a lot of this world? I'd say so. When Mercuria was invaded by the Tyran Hordes ten years ago, I was forced to leave the city. I first traveled east across the Northlands to a place called Irhad, the Sun Empire, and then south across the Great Ocean to the continent called the Southlands. Creative. After that, well, there's not much left in this world that I haven't seen. I've even been to the Azadi Empire. But I have to say that I like the Northlands and Mercuria best of all. I it feels like home. All right. Uh, what are the Tyran? They were a barbaric people who lived on the Western Plains. Ten years ago, they invaded Mercuria. The fact it sounds like well, Tyran is a total the coincidence. The Azadi killed them all when they liberated the city. If there are any left, they're few and scattered. The Tyran took the city during a time of great upheaval, but they didn't hold it long. The Azadi arrived in their ships soon after and drove them out. It's almost frightening how quickly the Tyran were wiped out. The Azadi showed no mercy. Good segue. Where did the Azadi come from? Far west. Almost ten days' journey by boat. In their airships, however, or cloud ships, it doesn't take many days to cross the ocean. You've visited their continent? I've passed through it, so to speak. Their capital, Sadir, is just amazing. It's built across a huge river delta where six rivers meet. Jeez. It's a holy place. They let you just wander freely through their city? I passed as a traveler in their lands. It's not closed to outsiders, and as long as you respect the Azadi and their customs, they give you passage. It's such a different culture from what we're used to, but they're an interesting people, and I found my visit to be highly educational. Basically, don't be what a dick they're doing and we'll in Mercuria, though, it's certainly controversial. On one hand, they brought freedom and peace. On the other hand, they're being a they've dick. rounded up the magicals, stuck them in a ghetto, and God knows what they intend to do with them next. When do we get to the Dark People City? From what our feathered friend said, it'll be another day or so. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just feeling a bit restless. Well, there's not much to do here. You can look around the cabin for a bit, talk to Crow, or take a nap back in the hold. There's a bed there. Thanks. Maybe I will. Alright. Well, obviously, it's you can examine things, talk to Crow, or go to the other thing to uh, progress plot. Day two aboard the airship. I think I'm starting to smell. 
All right. Yep. Take a nap. All right. Let's talk to Crow. Uh, I'm feeling seasick. Huh? Seasick? Aren't you used to flying? Flying? Yes. Flying is no problem. Flying is flapping your wings and praying for a good tailwind. This isn't flying. This is torture. So why don't you jump out there and fly instead? What? And catch a cold? Are you kidding me? You do know that it's freezing out there, don't you? And it's not like I can keep up with this infernal machine. My wings are made for comfort flying, not marathons. Guess you are pretty high no, up. No, I'll stay here. I'll just find a corner to go throw up in instead. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, uh... How long have you known April? That depends on how you look at it. We go way back. But I haven't really seen her since way back. What happened? She sent me on my merry way. She wanted to go find herself, which actually means go lose everyone else. I can recommend it, though. It's very liberating. I went off to find myself recently, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. You see, I was about to get married and... To a bird? I mean, not a woman. Well, yes, a woman, a female bird, someone with wings, like you. Yes, yeah. that's right. A bird. Anyway, so the idea of settling down, building a nest, starting a family... I don't know, I started freaking out. So I went on a journey of inner discovery. All right. You went on a journey of discovery? Inner discovery. A quest for personal understanding. A mission of self-realization. A voyage of inward fulfillment. A trek to the... Okay, yes. I get it. You wanted to find yourself. It's brilliant. You desert everyone, abandon your responsibilities and relationships, and focus completely on your own personal misery. Tell me how you really it's a feel. Douche for the soul. You know, Crow, right. I think you may have misunderstood what finding yourself is all about. What? No, April showed me how it's done. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't do it sooner. I feel so much lighter. Not a care in the world. Except for, you know, the total and abject misery in my heart and soul. Uh... Is this actually just going to be again? So you abandoned your fiancé to go on a selfish journey of inner discovery? Abandoned is a strong word. Left? Deserted? Forsook? Forsook. Yes, yes, and yes. Slipped away in the dead of night? Sure. But it was all for the best. I obviously wasn't ready to, you know, become a responsible, grown-up, magical bird. Could she talk? Where does one go to find oneself, I asked. Granted, I only asked myself, and I probably should have gotten a second opinion, but there you go. So I decided to seek the center of all wisdom and knowledge in Arcadia. This dark people's city? No, no, no. Some fortune teller in Zahn. She stiffed me. It was actually blind luck that I ended up in the Dark People's City. I never intended to go there, but it was a real blessing, I tell you. These guys, they let me read anything I wanted. And I've learned a lot. Like, for example, did you know that a Diavon water snake can grow to be almost 200 meters long? I didn't. I didn't really want to find out either, because now I'm really freaked out by water, but there's not much else to do in the place except read. Read, yeah. eat. Read, sleep, read, go to the bathroom, and read at the same time. It's really very, very dull. I felt the same way but when I learned about tomato sauce. Gave me perspective. Juice. I wisened up, and now I'm ready. Ready to get married? Ready to admit that I'm scared out of my feathers about getting married. So no, still on that journey. All right. About April. I don't understand what happened to her. Oh, she was the sweetest, prettiest, nicest girl you could have ever imagined. And she was a real trooper. Save the world and all. You don't see a lot of people doing that these days. Mm -hmm. But things didn't turn out the way she thought they would. She couldn't go back to her world, first because she was afraid, and then later because she lost her powers. On top of that, the Azadi were after everyone from Stark. Everyone with special powers, everyone who was allied with the Magicals. In the end, I think April just snapped. She was so angry. She felt so betrayed. She had to take it out on someone. 
Unfortunately, she decided to take it out on the Azadi. I wanted to stick with her, I really did, despite the yelling and the bitterness. But in the end, she just up and left me, right in the middle of nowhere, too. I tried looking for her, but after a while, I gave up. I got the distinct feeling she didn't want me around anyway. So, I left to begin a new life. I don't think there's anything you could have done, Crow. Sometimes the people we know and love change, and sometimes that means we have to move on. You didn't deserve to be treated that way, though. What powers did April lose? Her special thingy, being a shifter. First, she didn't want to go back to Stark, and then, one day, she couldn't. Her powers went poof, and no one knows why. Ooh. Yes? What? What? Why did you go, ooh? Because it's spooky. Also, I like saying it. It makes my beak vibrate. Mm. You don't think she lost her powers because she felt her powers were the cause of her misery? It's, of course, I, I wouldn't know what, huh? Seems to me that she was scared about facing reality again. And she decided that her powers would only bring more pain. So she lost them. Oh, oh, that's, uh, uh, psychology, isn't it? Oh, brilliant. You human females from Stark are really clever. So, yeah, hey, if we straight. hit April with a really big frying pan, she'll come to her senses, right? Uh... What? No. Yes, yes, it's called therapy. I read about it somewhere. Well, not read, more like heard. In a seedy tavern near the docks. After eleven thimbles of Mary Minstrom's yellow fire. Hmm. Just before dawn. On a Monday. But I remember the fella who told me. Big lad. Arms as thick as oak trees. A stunning collection of scars. Nice eye patch. A real therapist he was. Er, uh, wait, maybe it was rapist. Oh dear. Oh. That... That got dark. All right. Not gonna lie, it was a, it was a pretty good build-up, though. Anyway, let's let's ask this. What's it like being a talking bird? <laughs> My beak is a finely tuned instrument of love. When I speak, girls tremble, and also guys. Guys tremble too, but not in the same way. <laughs> right. It was nice Bird. chatting with you, Crow. It's been very informative. That's all I had to say. Glad to help, doll. Don't call me doll. Doll. Um. I mean, independent and self-reliant female person who's not an object to be ogled at or used solely for my own personal amusement and pleasure. You've been trained well. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, everything, everything all right? Okay, this looks fine. Assuming the mic still works. It probably still works. Crow. 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 Still feeling sick. Ugh. Talk to you later, Crow. If I'm not right here, I'm over in that corner, throwing up. Alright, well, I guess next video we sleep. <laughs>